mouthpiece has a gyroscope that understands where you're moving. Everything is measured in terms of acceleration or deceleration. It told us exactly where that helmet was contacting, whether it was in the front, the back, or the very top of the helmet. It also told us the intensity. Was it a low, medium, or moderate hit, or a high velocity hit? The data we received is every single hit from every single practice and every single game for one team. So it's like 20,000 data points. What we found in the data is that if a player becomes fatigued, their head drops. These players mainly get hit in the back of the head and we have hypothesized they're getting hit in the front and hitting the back of their head on the ground. When they hit it, my son went straight to the ground. Not only did he have a frontal impact, he also had a rear impact. It has affected his cognitive thinking. It has affected his balance. It has also affected his short-term memory. He'll probably never step foot on the field again. So I did experience a concussion end of the 2015 season. We were playing against the Houston Texans. I felt it right away, so I kind of raised my hand and I was like, you know what, I'm not feeling good. By studying the data of the impacts, we can improve training, we can improve game performance. We started teaching them some tackles where instead of tackling where their head's in the front of that player, they tackle with the head to the side of the player. I want my sport to be the safest sport possible, even though it's a contact sport. Thank you.